What's up, everybody? How you guys all doing? Welcome back. So uh, today we're gonna head up to Jones Power Sports. I messed up. It's ridiculous. I'll explain here in a second. First, let me get some tires. The old 33-inch BKTs. We used to freaking rock them tires all over the place out at River Run on this old bounty buggy all the time. Back in the day, but uh, nowadays I don't use them too much because I don't go play in the mud. One thing I did the other day, I took myself up to a Jones Power Sports, took the Turbo S up there, right? Had the power steering unit checked out, replaced. I left my 35s on there. Well, we need those 35s in order to compete in the bounty course, so I just made myself a four hour trip today. So uh, we're gonna take our butts up there. We're gonna swap out these tires on the old Turbo S, get the 35s back. Then we're gonna jet over to Rick Carter's, see what he's got going on. Try and give him a hand, get that RS1 ready, so that way he can compete in the bounty course uh, this upcoming weekend. Whoo! I love days like today. <laughs> Donald's for breakfast. Get all this crap out of here. Oh. All right. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Good old Jones Power Sports. What's up, brother? Wait. Say hi to the camera, Jared. Come on. <laughs> Freaking hooked up. So yeah, now we got the steering wheel finally. This is like the last piece of the puzzle. These things are super expensive and really hard to come by. All right, I'm gonna get these tires out. Get them over to the uh, other boys. All right, there's the old girl. We got those tires on. Got these ones switched out. Now it's time to load up and head her on over to Rick's house. All right, shout out to Trey. You help me get all these tires moving up and changed, swapped over. So, I'm gonna go in here and wash my hands. We're gonna head over to Rick's. All right, we're making progress. So, uh, basically, where we're at right now, I'm gonna have to take some of Rick's parts home to the house, get his tires mounted, get that stuff situated. And then uh, we'll be back tomorrow, get this machine sent over to Caleb, so that way uh, it can get the cage put on. When I say cage, and when I say machine, I'm referring to Rick's RS1. So let me get this stuff loaded up, and uh, we'll see where we're at. Whoa. All right, so we're sitting here having a little bit of an issue. For some reason, can't get these damn trailer lights to come on. Freaking everything works on the truck. We tried both plugs on the truck. For some reason, can't get the run lights to come on. So we're troubleshooting. Stay tuned. Problem solved, baby. Got that taken care of. Turns out, if you got a 2019 F350 and you're having trouble with the damn trailer brakes or the trailer lights, I should say, check Fuse 99. Turns out that's what the problem was. Hey, but we got it, right? We get it. We problem solvers. We, we, problem solvers. We're solution driven. Solution drivers. <laughs> we're solution drivers. <laughs> All right, let's get this show on the road. All right, well, as soon as we were getting ready to leave, the freaking rear leaf spring on the third axle decided it wanted to come apart. So now we're trying to remedy that. All right, so I'm on my way back to the house. I've got all the tires and stuff for Rick. We're pretty much at a standstill right now at the mercy of uh, time. Just wait until tomorrow. We've got a welder coming over. We're gonna get the trailer fixed, the camper trailer, and uh, get them on the road. I'm gonna take my butt to the house and get these tires put together. Just hope for the best. Trying to find solutions over here, man. This stuff can be super, super tough at times. It's 11.50 at night. We're still working. Woo! Got one more tire to do. I told you we'd get it all done, right? Yeah. Bam! done sucker yeah guys real quick we weren't able to get a whole lot of video footage um between this night and the following morning when we got everything situated and on the road but uh basically what ended up happening we had a welder come over that night we got the girls sent out with the camper on you know a little bit before midnight 
And uh, yeah, we left the next morning and headed out over to River Run. And basically, uh, it's nighttime now. We're at River Run. Rick's been at Rogue Off Road all day long, putting the cage on, and he's just now showing up. All right, where well, we're sitting here at camp, we're waiting for Rick Carter to make his appearance. He's been working so hard on this buggy. And uh, yeah, we wanted to make sure he had the, the proper, you know, display when he came and showed off his buggy. He's coming. Shit, he's coming. Y'all hurry up. I told you guys to get ready. Y'all come on, come on, come on. All right, so we went and unloaded his buggy. And now we're all just waiting for him to come do the unveiling. We figured what better way to do it than to roll up. There he is, here he comes. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate all the support, guys. You guys are freaking awesome. We'll see you guys next time. Later. I'm going to bed.